open game. So, CM Garu, you, you will be given one minute to talk about uh, how would you behave uh, being a CM. So, a uh, quick introduction to the audience. Uh, Murti Garu is a Rotarian. He does a lot of NGO activity. He is also a startup and uh, transformation coach. So, I'll, I'll give uh, Murti Garu, uh, before I give you uh, some time for the introduction, here, here is the game you, uh, we will play. We will play, uh, you know, rapid fire questions, uh, basically to understand uh, what you like, what you dislike, uh, as a person who you are. Uh, you will also be given one minute uh, for, you know, uh, showcasing what would you do if you're a CM for one minute, and uh, that would be up to you. So maybe a quick introduction before we start this game. We're trying to make uh, create positivity and spread positivity because the lockdown is extended. Uh, a lot of us are at home, but I think uh, in this uh, social distancing, we I think we still can network. We can you know make new friends every day. So that's the whole idea of you know making these quick introductions of people, connecting people, and you know uh, spreading positivity. So thank you, Murti Garu, for taking this. You you are the first. First minute CM, uh, so please take the credit for it. And uh, over to you. Can you just quickly introduce about yourself before we start the game? Oh, thank you so much, Ravi. I mean, it's a privilege. Uh, I mean, one minute CM. I think no, we can't. Uh, we don't need more time to take decisions in a lockdown like this. Anything done is a decision. So you know, <laughs> like you do anything, and it's a decision. Uh, I mean, I've, and and this is a good break from me uh, from being uh, uh, with the household work. I'm not working from home. I'm mean working for home. So now, you know, life has become different. Earlier office, we used to take tea break and go out. Now, if I want a tea break, my wife says, make tea for both of us. So that's how life has changed, working from home. So, and, you know, we are supposed to have make lunch during the lunch break, whatever. So life is like that. Uh, so I can't talk about this here because people expect me to be the uh, uh, coach them in their business. So I can't uh, talk more about my secrets here. I'll, you know, save it for some other personal conversation. So let's let's live with it. Uh, this is a beautiful saying. I mean, if you ask me if I am the CM, uh, I wouldn't, I would first thing say that, you know, keep men at home. And the best way to keep men at home is have the wives allowing them to drink at home. You know, you can drink at home and then I'm sure he will not go anywhere. The only additional effort that she has to do is make something for him to eat along with it and he will not complain i'm telling you men are gentlemen when that you know when 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 the spirits are right so in the right spirit if the wives accept spirits i'm sure that's the best thing so my decision would be that be it lockdown no lockdown don't stop anything to do with alcohol so let it be there on the other side yes it is revenue to the government trust me you never know the kind of dependence we have on this so we have to be there now, coming to social distancing, uh, thanks to all the gated communities, I think we already are mentally with the social distance. We used to live in, uh, you know, colonies where, yes, the distance also, we are used to it. We are mentally social distanced with everybody. So, you know, social distancing is not a challenge. Like me and my wife, we live, we live in the same four walls, but we are quite at a distance. So, we are, and we are happy like that. Okay. So... <laughs> And 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 if at all any differences are there, they are sorted out from two different rooms. So I'm sure the entire people will also like, you know, managing life like that at home. Yeah, and your kids might be moderating, trying to you know solve this when there's some issues. Oh, no, they, they they the best thing that they do is they have the fun from distance. They don't even try to take sides. Okay, it's like you know. Oh yeah. yes. Oh yes. Yeah. See, because yeah, okay. they grown out of cartoons, so you know they want something live. So this is what they get live. So, you know, it's good fun. And they know, you know, like if they fight at the end of it, they have a better bargain because both of us compete in pleasing them. So, you know, whatever they don't get from mom, they take from me. Whatever they don't get from me, they take from mom. So it's like, it's win-win for everybody, believe me. So lockdown should be extended. I'm not surprised it's gone to May 20 and let it go further. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Murti This basically Thank gives you. us a good overview of, you know, your thought process. Uh, what you are as a person. So uh, we'll start with the game. Okay, these are rapid fire questions uh, for a couple of minutes. The entire session is only for five minutes, so that you know we respect people's time and you know they connected. Uh, 
So uh, the rules are, you, you know, these would be rapid fire questions. These are from the app. So uh, any wrong questions popping up, don't blame me. Uh, you know, blame it on the system, on the internet, the app I'm using. So yeah, you you have an option to pass if you feel that you don't have the answer or your wife is beside you. So that's not appropriate. You cannot answer uh, in a live broadcast because she is also connected. So you can just say pass, and you know we can discuss later. Uh, so the game is going to start now and uh, we're going to end the game in like exactly three minutes. So are you ready, uh, Mr. CM? Yeah. See, 15 years after marriage, I don't think there are anything to feel good or bad about what your husband is talking. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite game? Uh, trying to win an argument with my wife. Okay. What's your favorite thing someone uh, in your family will believe in? favorite thing what's your favorite thing which uh, you know your family believes that you that's your favorite so if we ask and one of your family members uh, what would uh, they say okay mofi likes this what would they say anything anything to eat okay describe yourself in three words describe myself yeah in three words okay. i'm a happy go lucky guy mm -hmm. Uh, have the tolerance of bearing 15 years of marriage and still looking forward for more. Okay. Yeah. Children are the ones who get spoiled by me. So that's my definition. So not only my children, any of my known friends will keep their children away because I spoil them. <laughs> okay. If you would trade lives with someone for a day, uh, who would that be and why? Trump. Yeah, if you have to live uh, during That's what I said, Donald Trump, because I can be in news for every reason. <laughs> so you want to live with him for one day? Yeah, and then okay. be in the news for every reason. Okay. So Look at the attention he gets, so I would love to be there. Yeah, thanks. Next question, if you would like to talk in your sleep, what would that be? Anything other than taking my wife's name, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what do you, what is the first thing you do when once you get up in the morning? I stand up and walk a few feet to make sure that you know I'm alive. <laughs> What's your favorite movie and uh, give me a good quote from it? I know you'll be surprised to know uh, one of my favorite movies is uh, uh, Jawani Diwani of you know Ranbir Kapoor and uh, Deepika Padukone. Okay. And I realized that a lot of philosophical things in that movie which uh, we miss. So it's not one. There are many things that to learn in that movie. Uh, leave if you leave alone the romance part of it. It's a beautiful movie to learn life. Got it. So any favorite movie quote? Old, new. Picture abhi baki hai. <laughs> After the current situation of extended lockdown. Yeah, exactly. What's your, exactly. What's your favorite joke? My favorite joke is a little long, but yes, uh, it's something like this. To put it very short, uh, men are always uh, disappointed with what food they get in their dabba in the office. So there's always a uh, complaint. So there is this good friend of mine. Uh, who's been complaining and one day he said I'm going to divorce my wife if it is the same thing in my dabba today too you know he used to get the same thing every day okay it's okay. something like okay it's, it's something like one rice and one achar so then one day I mean, then next day he said if it's the same thing tomorrow I'm going to divorce her I said okay go ahead next day it was the same thing then he complained I called his wife I said this is what is planned she says Ek baat mein nahi aara, murti dabba to khud banata hai, to why is he blaming me <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, that's something you, that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. What would you do if you're, you know, in the same situation, lockdown in Mars for fun? Planet Mars? Oh, yes. I mean, trust me, uh, the, if I'm left alone, I can't ask for anything else. Okay. Where would you do? Uh, what would be the worst place to get stuck in this particular lockdown? Home. <laughs> okay. What would you do if you go invisible? Oh, wow. Then I'll still stay at home because nobody can watch me being at home. So. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, what is that one thing you always wish for, which you don't have right now? Oh, okay. I thought if it is for one thing that I wish, I mean, uh, I, I have no hiding. A date with Deepika Padukone is what I look for. <laughs> good, good one. Uh, a lot of fans there. Uh, what's your biggest addiction? Sweets. Okay. Anything and that is sweet. Same here. So <laughs> we can party with sweets soon. Uh, how many books have you read so far? Oh, a lot, a lot. Across, uh, across uh, kinds. I mean, I read all kinds of many kinds of books. Uh, but I, I predominantly like uh, books written on uh, legal fiction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fiction, okay. So, if you had to, uh, when you dance, I mean, and if we have to uh, compare you uh, the way you dance with a celebrity, who would that be? Shami Kapoor. Shami Kapoor. Okay, good one. So if you if you were famous, uh, what that what would that be? You know, what, would you be a politician? Would you be a celebrity? What is the uh, passion you would have? Uh, what is the career you would have taken? A motivational speaker who brings in a lot of positivity into another person. Good. So what's the worst job you could have ever done? Bartan Jhadu Pocha. <laughs> What, what's your favorite TV channel, the news which you watch right now during lockdown, which doesn't have much clutter, to the point, not dragging and saves your time? None. None? <laughs> None, you know, please. <laughs> None of the TV channels for that matter. What are your favorite, uh, what, what, what is that one thing which you're most afraid of? Being alone. Okay. Uh, which celebrity annoys you the most? Which Indian celebrity? You, you can take uh, somebody from here or uh, Bollywood. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. What is the most interesting thing you have uh, in your wallet? Apart from money. Oh, apart from money. Okay. Yeah. My credit card. Yeah. Because that's what I'm, I'm, I'm a... Uh, you know, yeah, credit card, yes. Because I... If you if you had to talk to Mr. Modi, uh, what would you talk about? Ask him to do something and continue for the next twenty years at least. Great. Uh, what what is that you really tried put in a lot of efforts and you know that really went bad? No, I mean the. Uh, the only thing that I've put my effort and went bad is I wanted to reduce weight from the past 17 years. Uh, I feel mm -hmm. that I'm putting a lot of effort, but I don't know what is what, where is all that effort going. Okay. Yeah. So what, what is the advantage of really being fat? One advantage of being fat? You, I mean, nobody sits besides you. You get a lot of place. Yeah, that's a good point. Nobody sits beside <laughs> Most, you. Mostly the other two chairs, left and right, are left alone because you will be half there, half here also. So, How many hours do you sleep? A minimum of six, maximum of six and a half, not more than that. So what's your favorite Amazon or Netflix uh, series recently? Uh, now, right now in this condition, no favorites. I've been watching anything and everything that is there on Netflix and you know Amazon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I, I like I like suits. Suits was something that I liked. As I told you, I like anything legal. Suits is something that I liked. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Same situation here. We go. We've also started watching Tamil Malayalam movies. Uh, kids have started watching Chinese movies with subtitles. So uh, yeah, I think it's the same situation across. Nay, no, the sad part is you know got so much used to subtitles that I'm watching Telugu also in subtitles now. <laughs> so, if the lockdown was open for one day and you know you had the chance, of all the businesses were open, what would you go ahead and shop and store it at your home? Some books. Books? Okay. <laughs> I was expecting something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, see, uh, alcohol in anyway, you know, it's, it's, it, it is there. You know, you you anyway. That is the first thing that you do. On the way, you find a bookstore. You stop there. 
What what is the supply of really really short uh, running short at home right now? So what is that really missing? You miss it every day. See, I mean, I wouldn't have felt uh, uh, anything else. But only thing is, it's only the sweets that are made at home that we are eating. I'm not able to get uh, the the range of sweets that I used to enjoy from various stores. Uh, that's okay. the challenge. So, what what's your favorite beverage, and what's your least favorite beverage? Oh, my favorite any day, uh, I would say is beer. Any day. And the least favorite is uh, you know off late I'm forced to have some uh, some some uh, what do you call vague uh, organic mixes, which you know yeah. And and uh, what's your favorite brand and beer? Oh, you name it. I I don't have choices. It's beer. That's it. Okay. So now you're talking about books. Uh, you know, reading books. Okay. What's your Favorite book uh, which which you read and you know which, which has impressed you uh, while you've grown up. Uh, trust me, there were quite of them, quite a number of books that I've read, um, and, and and I always read uh, books which uh, gives you different ideas, uh, irrespective of no, you know, even knowing the author and his background much. I like the title. I read the book, and uh, fiction. Uh, John Grisham is my favorite. From his client, from his client, I've read almost uh, every book of his, and I have this fancy of buying the original print. I don't buy the paperbacks of an author that I like. Uh, so that that's something a, a lot. I mean, they're all made by fiction, but they all give you some thought or the other to really make some realistic. Yeah? So that's what. Uh, and I and I write uh, and I, I like reading anything uh, about Vivekananda. Uh, if if I go ahead and ask you, uh, ask your friends, and you know what, what is the best compliment they will give, uh, talk about uh, movie? This guy can give the best company while drinking and driving. Wow! <laughs> so that, 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 that's all the questions we have for rapid fire. You know, I think that you were very spontaneous, and you know, you've done a great job. So now coming to the final question, one minute CM. Now, now you're the CM for one minute. What are the changes you will bring in? I know you, you've already put some thought processes earlier, but what are you have one minute for that? Your time starts now. Oh, on a very serious note, I guess uh, I mean we need to really uh, do some serious work on the tests of whether the cases are positive or not, instead of you know speculating on what is coming out. Then uh, let go people uh, with some education, let them face it. Uh, if if they are doing wrong, they're going to face it. So let let go, let go. I mean, see, there's no point. The more you bind them, the more mistakes they're doing. So I would say that let go, let them face it. And uh, we are, as a government, has the backup with the medical facilities to take care if something goes wrong. So attention should be given to everybody. At the same time, freedom should be there to do things right or wrong. Great. Will you still have few seconds? Oh yeah, still a few seconds. Then uh, I mean, I deliver liquor at home to avoid, so you know, uh, take care of social distancing. Good. Thanks a lot, Murti Garu. Uh, you know, it was nice connecting with you. So, are, are you open to people connecting with you if they need any help? Oh, anytime. See, there are two things that I can promise people on this channel: is that a uh, lot of them. Uh, uh, they are not able to talk about uh, what's wrong uh, either in them, I mean, going wrong with them or with their business. Uh, they mm -hmm. feel a uh, little, you know, uh, uncomfortable discussing with even their own close friends or partners. Trust me, I can ensure confidentiality and they can talk to me. That is some open offering I'm giving to anybody. And uh, it's voluntary. I don't charge anything. So it's okay. Super. Thanks a lot, Murtigara. So, any small businesses, any business that's having some impact, uh, I'm sure all of us going through this. Uh, feel free to get in touch with Murtigara. And thanks a lot, uh, Murtigara, for being uh, the one minute CM. And, audience, feel free to uh, connect with me if you want to participate in this particular game and make it lively, spread positivity. Thank you, Murtigara. Thank, thank you so much, Ravi. It was fun. I never did something like this before. Uh, I hope, you know, I, I gave some smiles on faces. That's the only objective. Nothing serious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My you. wife should listen to the last sentence, you know. Yeah, yeah. I hope she is watching and I hope she likes I it. I know. I know. I had to give the disclaimer in the end for that. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Bye-bye.